The gods have spoken. You shall never leave this island that you call home. <laughs> the ultimate creed. Oh no. For some reason, Europe and North America have different launch trailers for this game, but whatever. But yes, there is now a launch trailer available for Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Obviously, the only reason for it to exist is to toot its own horn. That's undisputable, that's just what it is. But I thought, why don't we take a look and I'll give my thoughts on it and all that wonderful stuff, because I have fuck all else to do with my night. The gods have spoken. I'm gonna call this man Blind Ben. Is he even a character in the game? I don't know, but he's quite clearly blind, and I think his name's probably gonna be Ben. We don't know that bit. The only question that needs answering here really is why the fuck does he have an American accent? You shall never leave this island that you call home. Update, Blind Ben is a dickhead. You shall never step foot out of your own village. Well, that doesn't half look creepy. I have no idea where the protagonist is in this shot, but it looks like somewhere undesirable, like a marsh or something. Either way, it looks somewhat interesting. I'm sure it's shown up in a trailer before, though. Considering how all the innards of the trees appear to be on fire, it could be some version of hell. I know, it's tree hell, where all the naughty trees go. Okay, seriously, moving on. To dare and travel the world. Okay, real question here. Is the narrator talking to the protagonist, or is he talking to us? Because it sounds like he's talking to us. You'll never leave your home, you sad fuck, you're a coward. You live in your mum's basement, and you wank off to Cassandra. Wait, we definitely don't want to do that last bit. I don't know if the blind man's jabbing at the player character or us, it just, it's just blurry, it's a real point. I'm not sure what's going on. That remains to be seen. You shall live a small, tedious life. In the comfort of your home. Okay, yeah, that guy's definitely talking to us and not the player character. <laughs> also, why is the narration not lining up with what's showing on screen anyway? Like, remotely. Is sitting at campfires like an in-game feature or is it just a cutscene? I hope it's an in-game feature because that's quite immersive, isn't it? You get to sit by a campfire and warm up and shit. Yeah, all cosy. For every hero, the world needs cowards like yourself. Thanks, Ubisoft. For your entire existence, you shall never have to face danger. You know, after that golden Ubisoft tweet from ages back, I really cannot take these masks seriously. To fight for your own life. Nor will you... What is that, like the 600th time they showed off the Spartan kick in promotional content? We get it. No courage. Whoa, what's that doing then? Is that like a piece of Eden or is it just another scepter with a special ability? I'm genuinely curious to find out what that is now. It's probably absolutely nothing, just a scepter with a special ability, but that would be really disappointing. It could be like a piece of Eden or some shit, because it's glowing gold. You know what I reckon it is? I reckon it's nothing. Boldness or bravery. And in the end... Say what you will about the rest of the game, but it appears they've definitely channeled most of their budget into making that beach sand look relatively decent. Alone, you shall vanish. Forgotten for eternity. That is the will of the gods, and your destiny shall be fulfilled. I honestly don't get what that was about at all. It appears as if it has something to do with this choose your fate malarkey, sure, but such a weird way to do it. So many RPGs these days have this sort of thing in it that it's hardly a selling point, is it, really? And there we go. What do we think? I think fucking nothing. I have no idea why they went through all that effort to make a second launch trailer exclusively for Europe, make the US one exclusive to the US, and have the US one be actually significant, whereas this one's just a bit, uh, wank. I guess we should take a look at the US launch trailer, which is actually decent now. My son, you're old enough now. My father's spear holds a certain burden, but... You're ready. We're about 15 seconds into the trailer and already it's 10 times as narratively more valuable than the European one was. It carries with it a long line of power. Leonidas. He was Sparta's last true hero. Obviously this is to do with the spear and how it wound up in the protagonist's hands. Which makes the launch trailer at least seem somewhat valid. Yay! 
same blood courses. This trailer actually provides emphasis on narrative points, such as being the grandchild of Leonidas, who was, of course, the Spartan king that we all know. You will need courage. For Sparta! Cunning. This arrow storm ability seems pretty cool to be honest with you. I can see these being useful both in battle sequences and in other elements of the game, so not mad at that at all. Compassion. I wonder if this inevitable death scene is somewhat pivotal to the story. Wouldn't put money on it, but at the same time it would be an interesting plot point. As you can see, the US trailer is actually giving us plot points. Oh no, sad Alexios is sad. Just to provide a bit of a side question here, out of curiosity, if Cassandra is supposedly the canon character, why is Alexios the one who's getting more screen time in the trailers? And commitment. That guy just got turned into human sushi. Oh, goodbye. He's jumping off his horse towards his opponent, and he's firing his bow. That's pretty cool. It'll be awesome if you could, like, hijack their horse after this by landing on it and just riding away. See, the dramatic music really works with this shot, doesn't it? Also shows off that volcano that's in the game. From a graphical standpoint, I can't say that the game looks bad. I actually really like how the graphics look in this game. Though some parts look better than others, and that's quite visible. On the whole, it's not bad looking graphically. I'm pretty sure a lot of the shots in this trailer are actually from the first trailer. But see, I'm okay with that because this trailer feels like it's giving me something at the same time. Whereas that European fucking trailer was just shit. I think it's just giving me a better trailer than that one. And that's why I'm content with this. <laughs> Ugh, I should have known. I should have known they wouldn't be able to keep this one out of there. The gods will not always be with you. Embrace this journey, my child, as this is your odyssey. <laughs> it's almost as if they know that we've turned that your odyssey thing into a joke. Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Thanks, generic American trailer man. So of those two launch trailers, why the fuck is there two? I don't know. I know about as much as you do. I think we can argue that the US one is vastly superior, it actually makes me feel somewhat like I want to buy the game, whereas the other one just seems a bit off, I don't know what it was about it. But yeah, the US launch trailer was definitely a good trailer, showed us some cool stuff, showed us maybe some pivotal points in the story for all we know. Yeah, but I guess we've got those broken down now, so yeah, that's about it. But anyway, thank you all for watching, I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to go ahead, leave a like, subscribe, share, let me know what you think down in the comment section. I'll leave links to the trailers in the description if you want to go ahead and check them out without me talking every five seconds. Be sure to go ahead and follow me on Twitter, and I'll see you all very soon with another video at some point.